What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to make a very simple Niagara blood particle effect. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we will need is the blood texture. Now this is very important, it has to be a PNG with transparency because we will only need the actual, you know, thing, not the background, right? So that's very important, you need one that has transparency. And then once we got that, what we have to do is create the texture for this uh, sorry, the material for this texture so we can apply that material into the Niagara system. So let's go ahead and right click, create material. Let's call this something as M underscore blood. And now let's open this up. So as you can see, we just see this ugly thing. <laughs> okay, so we have to change the transparency and some things over here. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the blend mode and change it from opaque to translucent. Now, technically, we can also say to masked but mask uh, creates uh, very sharp edges around the uh, texture. So it's better to use translucent. And now I just can connect the alpha to opacity. And now as you can see, we get rid of all the other stuff and we just have the actual content itself, which is great. All right, so with that said, I can just quickly apply, save and close. And now let's create the Niagara system. Let's right click, Niagara system, new system from selected emitters. And now we can see that we have a whole bunch of templates that we can choose. In this case, let's select the omnidirectional burst, which will just spawn some particles in uh, with some force uh, from one origin point, which will be perfect for blood in this case. So let's just add this, finish, name this something as NS underscore blood, and let's open this Niagara system up. As you can see, this is the burst that will just spawn some particles from one point, uh, kind of in sphere form, right? Uh, and just go down with gravity and so on. So what we have to do is select the sprite render and change the material into our new one, which will be our M blood. And now as you can see, once it will compile, you can see the blood. Now it is very small, it is hard to see. So let's increase the size. So for that, let's go into the initialize particle, we can say attributes or node. And now we're gonna go ahead and change the size. Right now it's picking one random between three and seven. Let's increase this to maybe like 20 and 25. And now we start to see more. Okay, so another thing that I am going to do is just go and add it into our level so we can see a bit better because honestly from this viewport is hard to see but if I now go here and hold all S we can preview our blood and it looks a bit nicer. Okay, so first of all let's make this a bit bigger maybe around 35 and 40 and then what I'm going to do is go to the uh, spawn burst and change the spawn count to be 70. So instead of so many particles as 100, let's make it a bit less. Now, another thing I have to do is go into the material and we have to do one more thing because right now, for example, if I go back to the scale color node, you can see that the alpha should decrease over time. And right now they're just staying the same and when they spawn and change, right? This because we need something in the texture to be able to change that color and it is the particle color node, okay? so. Let's uh, change this, it will be under particles, and now we can just times the RGB by the one that is coming from the texture, okay? And then, I'm gonna put this at the top, okay? And then I can just go and get the alpha and also multiply it by the one incoming from the texture. So now we are overwriting everything, and now you can see that it will fade out as we go. So let's make the fading out a bit before, okay? And also let's go to initial is particle and change the lifetime min and max to be around 0.71 so it will be quicker. As you can see now, our particle does look way nicer and way cooler. So actually what I'm going to do is add a bit more of particles. So let's go back to the burst and instead of 75, maybe like 87, something like that. And we'll have more particles coming around. And we can change more things as, for example, the velocity that is applied, the shape location, how big is the spawning radius, right? Uh, in my case, I think that the one that comes is pretty good in this case, 40. Uh, and you can change all those things as the uh, sprite size over time. I think that's pretty good for now. The gravity force uh, and so on. But overall, probably for a simple particle effect, this will go ahead and just work perfectly for you. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. The product, uh, files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all I said, bye bye.